Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So we are in October 2023, and I started placing my seed orders for next year. Um, I'm gardening in Pennsylvania in Zone 5B, and I just got uh, one of my orders from uh, Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds, Rare Seeds. Now, I am not affiliated with this company in any way, shape, or form. It's just a company that I buy from. They have a lot of different types of heirloom seeds and um, I've been buying from them for a while now and I would really like some of the varieties that they offer and we're going to be trying some new stuff out next year so we're going to go over this order and I'll show you what I got uh, we're keeping some stuff that we always grow we added some new stuff and um, I had some other seed orders come in that I had placed and uh, we're going to talk about this one here so we are keeping the yellow of Parma onion and uh, this is a long day onion really good for cooking and this is one that we really like we did have an issue this year with uh, the onion maggots getting into the onion so we're trying to figure out a solution for that for next year and we love the blue lake bush beans we've been growing those for years and uh, we really weren't happy with uh, the seeds that we were getting from the store so I went online and I seen that Baker Creeks had them so I'm familiar with the blue leg bush because that's the variety that we normally always grow and I went ahead and got these uh, we love the Detroit dark red red beets they're one of our favorite red beets we can those a lot and uh, we eat them we um, pickle them and eat them so this is our favorite variety of these here uh, we don't have an issue really with them getting cores in them, which is really good. So we go with this one here. Uh, we're going to be trying the broccoli. This here is a different variety of broccoli that we're going to be trying. We were growing the sweet snack hybrid broccoli. And for some reason, it just stopped working for us. So I wanted to check this one here out and see how this one will do for us. So hopefully this one here does better. Uh, we're doing the Withersfield Red Onions. This is my favorite onion, one of my favorite onions. And I really love the flavor of this one. It's a good keep. It's a good one for the north. It's a long day onion. And uh, the onions that I've selected are good for um, storage and for northern growing. Uh, we're trying a new type of bush bean that I've never grown before. This is a purple... A TP and when you cook these they say they turn green but they're supposed to be really tender and uh, really good so I wanted to give these a try I saw them on there and I'm hoping with the purple that they're going to be easier to harvest because sometimes when you're trying to like find the green ones and your foliage is green um, it's a little bit harder sometimes to find them so these are supposed to be easier to pick uh, we're trying two new sunflowers the gold coin and a teddy bear so I'm really excited to try these here and we have uh, two new celosias here we have uh, early rose and we have the Indiana Giant now the Indiana Giant from my understanding um, it was from an Amish community and it actually originated in Lancaster but they found it in Illinois and uh, they got some seeds from it and they started um, once they had, you know, their stock built up, they started offering it for sale. So I'm really excited to try the Indiana Giant. Um, I do have the Amish coxcomb, and um, I believe that one originated in Illinois. But I had kind of pushed that one to the side for a while. But I'm kind of thinking about taking some of my other varieties of celosia and kind of bringing them back and just giving them a try again and seeing. Um, you know, trying some different stuff with them and seeing what all will uh, work for me. So I'm really excited to try this one. My mom picked this one here out. She loved the color of it. And I thought, you know what? It's really pretty. So um, I have going to be trying this one here. Uh, they gave us some free seeds here. Merlot lettuce. This is a really good lettuce. I really like this lettuce. So uh, got some free seeds of the Merlot lettuce. Uh, we got a different type of bok choy and then uh, this is a hot pepper 
that they gave us for free. And um, Retta Florence onions. This is one of my favorite cooking onions for like making spaghetti sauces. It's an Italian heirloom and uh, we've been growing it for a while now. And I wanted to make sure that I got a pack of these here so we could keep growing it. And like I said, uh, like Italian dishes, this is really good for that. And I believe this one here originated in Italy. But this one here, like I said, I love it for like spaghetti sauces and different Italian dishes. And it works really good for cooking. Now this is a different shaped onion. It's more of your uh, torpedo shaped onion than the other ones that are around. But it does really well for us. And I uh, wanted to make sure that I kept it. Uh, yellow sweet Spanish onions. These are really good. We like these. They have a nice sweet flavor to them. Uh, this one here, these are long keepers and they are for the north. So um, they're long day onions and they do grow well where we're at. I've never tried this onion before. It's called a globo onion and it's supposed to be for northern climates. It's a long day onion. It's supposed to keep in store really well. So I only got one pack of these because I wanted to try them out and see how it would do. And then we got a Brunswick onion. And I grow the Brunswick cabbage. That's really good. And uh, when I seen this one here and I seen it was a purple onion, purple red type onion, I really wanted to try it. It is supposed to be for the north. It's a long day onion. And I'm looking forward to getting to try this one for uh, next year. Let's see what all they say about it. Um, it was first offered in 1870. Deep red to purple flattened bulbs. Usually mild and sweet. Get stores very well. So I'm really looking forward to uh, getting to try this. I love purple and red onions. They're one of my favorite onions for eating. Sometimes you will get some that are pretty bitey, but I really like them. So these two are going to be new for us here. What's this one here say? Um, super sweet, complex flavor. Uh, flavor is divine. Sugary sweet with a spicy finish. A good storage onion. So yeah, I have really looking forward to getting to try these. But I just wanted to share this with you real quick here. Go over some of the varieties. Um, why I picked them. I'm really hoping that these do well for me for uh, the cut flower production and the cut flower gardens. And I do have videos on my channel for uh, starting onions from seed. I typically start my onions in January and um, I do have videos on my channel for how I do that. Um, we do and I have videos on my channel for growing uh, red beets beans, uh, broccoli, um, starting solution from seed. I don't think I ever did one on uh, sunflowers. So uh, maybe we'll do one next year for that. And I do have videos on my channel for starting peppers from seed. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. It'll tell you I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Bye.